guys have got a battle against uh, Steel Eagle 17. Um, this is basically for the uh, Battling Federation. Uh, Josh asked me to uh, step in for um, Pulse. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. I lead off with my Suicune, he leads off with a Nido Queen, which is kind of weird considering it's supposed to be an OU battle. But yeah, he sets up Brox and rolls me away, and then I bring him my. Well, then Snorlax is brought in, so I just decide to go for an Earthquake while he switches out into a Spiritomb. Uh, he then goes with the Willowist, which I shouldn't have actually let it do. Um, but I'll go with the Crunch, just to see how much it would do, but after the Will-O-Wisp, I, I don't know why I let it do that really, I mean, come on. Uh, I'm just trying to get defense drops now, and just to see how much damage I can actually do. So I'm predicting a switch out, which he does, into Metagross, but I decided to go with the uh, Crunch anyway, because I still want to get those defense drops on whatever comes in really. Um, then I just go with the Self-Destruct, just to do as much damage as possible, I mean, come on, I'm burned, Snorlax, physical moves, it's not going to do very much. Uh, but yeah, I bring in my Zapdos, and he brings in an Arcanine, so I'll switch out into my Suicune, because I know it's the best thing I have to take a fire move. And basically, I thought I might be able to set up some Calm Minds here, but it just goes with the Roar and brings in my Breloom. Now, I don't really want to leave Breloom in, so I'll switch back into my Suicune, and he goes with the Fire Blast again. Which basically, is like, he's just basically owning me at this point in time, so yeah. Uh, but then he switches out into his Metagross, and I go with the Surf, but it doesn't KO, and then he goes with the Thunder Punch, and, well, yeah, it's just all over me at this point, but it just seems like I'm doing much better than him, but still. Um, so he goes with the Draco Meteor, but misses, unlucky there. Uh, I go with the Ice Beam, take that on the Flygon, and then he brings in this uh, Porygon 2, so I just switch back into my Breloom to take the uh, Toxic, or the Paralysis, or whatever, so I just thought Breloom would be a good switch in there, and it was. So I go with the Spore and his switch out, and, well basically I'm thinking this is a great time to set up, and it kind of is. So yeah, I'm just going to go with the Sword Dance a few times, and wait for it to wake up. Thank God he didn't, well he couldn't use Willows, but yeah. Um, he used Protect there, and I go with the Spore and the switch out again, and then I go with the Seed Bomb. And it does quite a lot actually, but I'm just going to finish this thing off, well try and finish this thing off with a Mock Punch. Uh, it didn't go with Extreme Speed like I thought it would do, but oh well. Then he brings in the Porygon 2, which is also taken down by the map Punch, and then he brings in his Nido Queen, which is a Sleep, so I'll just go with the Seed Bomb and finish that thing off as well. Then he brings in his Spiritum, goes to the Protect just to stall out turns, but it doesn't work. So yeah, good game dude, comment and subscribe, uh, check out the rest of the Champions channels, catch you guys later.